How's it going? I'm super keen to have you here in this next step of our plastic recycling journey. And I will need your opinion too, so make sure to stick around because I really want to know your thoughts on the next thing to make. But I want to start at the beginning because last Sunday, it was the first day that I have used the shredded plastic and actually made something out of it. That was so cool and I'm already thinking about the other things I could do with it. So uh, let me just take you back because last year I built the Precious Plastic Shredder. And Precious Plastic is the whole concept behind all this here. So just so you know, there's nothing new about the things that I'm doing. It is all open source for free to use. We just need some people out there doing it. So I'm just one of them. So ever since we were shredding all this plastic, I thought we might as well want to do something with the shredded plastic because otherwise we're just tearing it apart into a million pieces and not actually recycling it. So that got me thinking, which machine do I want to have to actually melt it? There's a couple of options uh, from the precious plastic machines, which is gonna be the compression machine where you can make sheets of plastic. There's gonna be a injection machine, which you mainly do molds with. And so the last option was the extruder. And I really thought that would be a great idea because we could do beams. And with beams, you can actually build anything out of it, like a bench or whatever, because I work a lot with beams and I thought that might be useful to make them. And you can um, turn around a lot of shredded plastic because you don't not just have a, like a small mold. And you can actually, with the extruder, you have this both options. You can actually have a mold as well. So. I bought this extruder screw and barrel. That was last year too. I even covered it in one of uh, the videos about um, plastic. I've got a playlist on my channel with all the plastic um, recycling videos. So you might want to check that out. So yeah, the last thing missing really was uh, the heat to melt the plastic. So I went back on the bazaar, the precious plastic bazaar, where you can find basically anything and I was finding this offer of this Norwegian dude. Yeah, I think uh, the packet was from Oslo. So he made these awesome heating systems and I got one of those, um, which arrived pretty quickly. Thanks, dude, if you're watching this. Ever since I got that, I was um, thinking about how I could put the extruder on my existing shredder because I thought I might just take the shredder out use the coupling, use the gearbox, use the engine and just stick the extruder up front, put the heating system on and I should be good to go. So ever since I had the extruder, I knew what diameter my shaft would be for the coupling for this extra piece. Like I would have a different coupling insert, but the main coupling would be the same. So I could just switch out the shredder and the extruder. So yeah, it took some time to build the base for the extruder barrel and to have the screw in there too. So yeah, but eventually I managed to build it all together once. I didn't turn it on yet, but I just built it all together and it looked pretty freaking cool. So yeah, the next thing missing for making the first beams is like a mold because with those beams you have like a big piece of metal. So I got a few of those. I actually bought them online because you couldn't get them in the hardware store, at least not those variations because I wanted a kind of like a, to make a bit of a board, like a thin long one. And yeah, I got various sizes of that and we just needed to weld on this uh, screw. I actually have uh, a piece here, so you can see. We made this piece a couple of, we couple of weekends ago and have that fitted on, you know, one of those barrels, metal barrels, I don't know what you'd call it. Yeah, that was one thing that we had to do. The other one thing was the hopper. Um, we got all that done. And so last Sunday, we were extruding the first ever piece of plastic. And that is awesome. It was just so cool to see and it was heaps of fun too.
actually got it here. Um, the plastic saw was PP, it was transparent. So actually when you do have just tiny bits of that, which is not gonna be so thick, it is transparent, but as you know, this one's pretty solid and it's pretty thick. So it's just looks gray and ugly. The plastic came out um, on the thing that we made here. So or on the other one. So we kind of just uh, have to improve that a little bit, but you know, that's off for a great start because we actually managed to extrude something, extrude some plastic. So now for the most important part of the video, I will need your help. I will need your ideas of what is going to be a very nice plastic product that we could do with the extruder. And I don't mean those beams because I can do them in all various shapes and sizes. But I am already thinking of making molds, which we can just screw on, press the plastic inside and have like a pot. That was an idea that I had, just make a plant pot. But I want to know your thoughts because the, a friend of me cousin, he has a lathe at home and he's able to make small molds out of aluminum blocks. And he said, for example, a plant pot, uh, making a mold for that, it's not gonna be that hard. So if he says that we've got a bit of space up above and he said in his, company he can make even bigger molds so with a bit of money um, which I don't have <laughs> um, and some creativity of you of what we could actually make yeah I just I just want to know your thoughts and I want to specify a little bit so don't just say yeah freaking Bluetooth speaker would be nice or like uh, camera lens adapter I would need something that everyone like something that we can start off with because you know, a plant pot is a very easy design. And I would like to make things that almost everyone could use, like a plant pot. Everyone has plants pretty much. And I would like to do to make things which are not related to food, like plastic containers for storing food, because, you know, I don't really know what's in the recycled plastic and I don't want to have any toxic um, chemicals floating around your food which is why I wouldn't really want to do that. Or close to you, like wearing plastic is almost the same. So I'm kind of limiting myself there, but I just don't think it's a great idea to make just anything out of recycled plastic because you don't really know how they were made and what toxic chemicals could be in there. So yeah, these are just a couple of guidelines I have in my head for myself always. Lots of people should be able to use it and should be able to think, oh, that's that's pretty cool. It's cool to have, nice to have, who will, might actually pay for it. You know, like, like we could get some money back for all these expenses <laughs> of the mold and whatever. Um, who knows what will happen? Probably not, but um, yeah, I just want some ideas because uh, I can't really think of many good things that you would need in your daily life. A lot of talking right now, but I just wanted to tell you that we are extruding. We are extruding beams. And uh, I will continue extrude in a couple of weeks because I'll be away for a week. But by the time this is uploaded, it doesn't matter. Just l tell me your ideas. And uh, yeah, I'm super keen that um, this project is going along so well. And we actually recycled some plastic. Radio. Um, thanks for your input. Thanks for sticking around, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.